Everybody, it's me Estella and I'm back with a pretty relevant video for you guys today if you're taking AP exams or SAT exams and I've personally compiled the top four tips that have helped me get good grades on my exams and not freak out during my exams and I've been through a lot of tests in my life and I learned a lot of these the hard way and just through trial and error but I've also compiled some facts to just help back me up here and you guys can also read them I will put all of the articles in my description box if you want to learn more about this but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful and let's get into it So the first thing that you should definitely not do is pull an all-nighter. According to Dr. Michael Bruce, a clinical psychologist specializing in sleep, sleep deprivation disrupts levels of hormones including serotonin, dopamine, and cortisol that affect thought, mood, and energy. Sleep deprivation also activates genes that interfere with optimal brain activity. Research shows that reaction times are dulled as much by sleeplessness as they are by alcohol. Sleep deprivation also impairs learning and the ability to create new memories. Poor sleep also diminishes your capacity to recall memories you've already made, whether you made them a month ago or 10 years ago. So if you guys can tell, sleep deprivation can severely impact your cognitive ability during your exams. You will be more likely to forget facts that you otherwise would remember if you had gotten enough sleep and you'll also struggle with problem solving. So getting sleep should be your number one priority, not studying. Get eight to 10 hours of sleep per night, especially the night before. So the second thing that you should not do is have high levels of stress and I know that sounds a lot easier than it actually is but just hear me out. According to Harvard Medical School, if you are in a dangerous or emotionally taxing situation and in the case of a very stressful exam our brain thinks we are in a dangerous or emotionally taxing situation, the amygdala, the part of your brain that governs your survival instincts may take over leaving the parts of your brain that help you store memories and perform higher order tasks with less energy and ability to get their own jobs done. The basic idea is that the brain is shunting its resources because it's in survival mode, not memory mode, says Dr. Riesler. This is why you might be more forgetful when you are under stress or may even experience memory lapses during traumatic events. Again, stress can lead to a decrease in your cognitive ability, just like sleep can, so it's extremely important to be calm during your exam, and especially not to have a panic attack or start freaking out. So how do you do this? So ways to cope with stress. So before your exam, the day before, or just the week before leading up to it, you close your eyes and listen to calming music compilations on YouTube or some of your favorite calming music or classical music. And I recommend overall instrumentals, not music with words so that you don't mix your head with words. Or take a walk outside. Vitamin D in the sun can also boost your energy. Meditate the morning of and the night before your exam for at least 10 to 20 minutes without any other outside forces, so don't listen to music, just sit somewhere. Try not to think of your exam. If you're actually freaking out during your exam and you feel like you're completely spiraling or you're on the verge of completely freaking out, what I like to do is I breathe 10 deep breaths whenever I feel like I'm really, really nervous and I can't control my brain. Just completely stop what you're doing, close your eyes, and it doesn't matter, don't worry, nobody's looking at you because everyone's freaking out about their exams. Just close your eyes and just take 10 really deep breaths and count them to yourself. And just repeat that 10 times and you'll already feel a lot calmer after those 10 times and do that as many times as you need during the exam it'll still be more beneficial even if you lose some time than if you were freaking out the whole time
So the next tip I have for you guys is to drink less coffee. If you drink too much, you won't be able to get enough sleep before your exam. Also, it will lead to an increase in anxiety and stress levels during the exam, and it will make it harder for you to calm yourself down if you're panicking. The maximum number of coffee you should drink per day is around 3 to 4 cups, but you should truly aim for around 1 to 2 and before 3 p.m. so you have enough time to wind down and get it out of your system before it's time to sleep. And the last tip I have for you guys to eat complex carbs before your exam, not simple carbs. So while sugar or simple carbs can lead to a brief energy boost, you'll quickly experience an energy crash after consuming them, so it's really not a good idea. The best brain foods to eat before an exam are berries, especially blueberries, walnuts, or any kind of nut, and complex carbs like oatmeal with some fresh fruits, which is the breakfast that I always have before my exams. And those types of foods will prevent you from crashing or having an energy crash during your exams. All right, that's all my don't do's for today's video. I hope this was helpful for you guys and you go and you ace all of your exams. And here is today's giveaway and the instructions. I'm wishing you the best of luck and that's all I have for today. So bye guys.